Here we go, PBW fans. This is a matchup I've circled on the card as soon as it was announced. Former WWE Cruiserweight competitor, high top hustle himself, Anthony Bennett, taking on D3. Here we go. Seen both these men here in PBW before. Very impressive athletes. High top hustle, Anthony Bennett. D3, straight from Rome, Italy, Paul, though. Absolutely. Anthony Bennett sporting the neon pink D3. Told me backstage he has a brand new wardrobe. Looks something like a Power Ranger there, Phil. Look at Bennett with a handstand. Are you calling him the Pink Ranger? I was talking about D3. Oh. Guys, both of these guys coming off impressive uh, uh, shows the last time we seen him. D3 scoring an impressive victory over Anthony Gangone the last time we saw him in PPW, as well as Anthony Bennett teaming up with Mike Orlando, if you remember, to defeat the team of Lance on Hawaii and Abyss. Both of these guys coming off impressive victories. Absolutely. This should be a fabulous matchup. Two extraordinary athletes. Like I said earlier, this match might be one above the top rope here. Oh yeah, they're just getting warmed up here. It's already a mile a minute. That yeah, rolling it into the crucifix there. Bennett reverses back and forth. They're back to square one. Look at that. Bennett giving D3 a taste of his own medicine. Oh, look at that. Reverse hip toss there. Guys, we talk a lot about the skills of D3. We are looking at a barometer match for him right now, taking on a former WWE Cruiserweight competitor. Beautiful drop kick by D3. Into the arm drag takedown and holds on. You're seeing fundamentally sound ball ways around here, EJ. Absolutely. Arm bar firmly in place, controlling Bennett by keeping that right arm hyperextended. Excuse me, the left arm. Left, right, it doesn't matter. Left, right, both going to be across someone's face, right? <laughs> oh, man, did you see that? He put his head underneath the rope, went to whip him, caught D3 right across the neck. D3 is dazed from that Absolutely. One. He really took a hard shot there. Now Bennett, that gives him a little breathing room here to kind of regroup, recalculate, figure out where he goes from here. D3, you can see, obviously wobbled from getting caught across the eye. It looked like he caught him with that red top rope. Those ropes are unforgiving. I was putting them up earlier. I ran it once. I almost bruised my ribs. You guys, both two. of these guys, fast athletes, using their quickness. But, you know, oh. D3's got a little bit of a different uh, background, Paul. I mean, trained by Tommy Dreamer, Matt Stryker, Chris Masters. These guys are people who are brawlers, who use their power. D3 seems to be a very well-rounded athlete in that regard. Absolutely. He can get down and dirty and grapple with you. He can fly over that top rope with the best of them. He can do a little Lucha Libra action. I've seen him on tape. The guy could fly. Anthony Bennett, like I said... 32 men, I believe, were in that WWE Cruiserweight competition to get picked by that. He had a first-round exit. He wrestled Tony Nese. Um, Bennett suffered an injury during that match. I don't know if you saw it there, Phil. D3, up and over, right back in this one. Rolls up Bennett, two. That one took Bennett by surprise. Maybe he woke him up a little, got him on his toes. Absolutely beautiful drop kick by Anthony Bennett. Now you see the frustration coming out in Anthony Bennett. D3 couldn't do anything there but put his hands up. That was ground and pound 101. Absolutely. Bennett taking his time here. I really haven't never seen D3 grounded like this. He really can't get off the snide here. You can see him in the corner shaking his head. See, that's the thing about being so well uh, uh, matched against your opponent. You already know what he's thinking. You already have the same kind of strategy. And it's very easy to scout. 
Bennett just having an easy time so far with D3, keeping him grounded, back suplex there. D3 needs to rethink his strategy. Bennett going up top here, maybe a little early here. Taylor. Certainly taking his time. Phil, if he hits this one, it's lights out for D3. Agree. Wait, took way too long, missed wildly. Went for that flying headbutt. Wanted to hit him with the high top fade there. You see referee Jeff Carden wiping the sweat from his brow. He's even tired in this one. That's how fast this one's been, guys. Absolutely very hot in here tonight. Bennett trying to get to the vertical base. D3 trying to will himself. There's a pop-up by D3. Ah, oh, D3 eats a forearm. Looks like they're gonna battle it out here for supremacy in the middle of the ring. There it is, martial arts style kicks by D3 a mile a minute. Finally takes Bennett down. D3 back oh, in this man. one. Brings him down by the neck. Bennett reverses. Oh no, D3 hits him with that DDT. Beautifully done. Planted right in the middle of the ring and Bennett is out cold. Guys, this has been so seesaw, so competitive, so evenly matched. Look at the core strength of D3. Unbelievable. I've been working on my headstands on the yoga mat. I can tell you that takes a lot of strength. Please don't even go there. I heard Freddie say that. Yeah. Check out my Instagram, folks. You can see my journey all there. E. Julius, one, two, three. I have a better up. idea. How about check out PPWWrestling.com for all the latest news, scores, everything. I can, scores, right? They have scores on PPW. We can, we can put the baseball scores on. Cleveland Absolutely. lost. <laughs> D3 misses wildly well, I mean, with a spin. D3 dazed. Bennett with the wheelbarrow. Brings him down by the head. Two count again. Bennett couldn't put him away. Thought he had him there. Took put him right down on his head. And now Anthony Bennett has decided it's about enough. Got to make sure the hair's right, EJ. Shades of Basil Anderson there. You know, for a while people weren't ro rocking that high top, but then it came back a few years ago, you, you know? You should grow a high top. Oh, oh, man! D3 caught him clean! The crowd like that one. That was desperation right there for D3. He's going up top. That took a lot out of him though. Look at he's struggling to get to that top rope. Trying to get the will from the fans. Oh! oh beautiful move! Oh, oh, my my God. His goons. Of course, I knew that was coming. Surrounding the ring like a pack of dogs. Mike Orlando in the green Zubas. D3 just took a swing at Mike Orlando. He outweighs him by 100 pounds. And now Nick Corvato's coming out there. And look at the two, the size of these two men stalking D3 right now. Uh, come on. Bennett takes advantage. That has to be it. How disappointing.